Hey y'all, I'm Jake with Hunt, Beer, and Repeat. And today, as promised, we're going to design our own DIY Pinterest state board. All right? So what we're gonna start off with right here, as you can see, I have a general four inch by what I have bought is a 12 foot board. And this is just a piece that I've already used, scrap wood. Because who wants to pay for stuff you don't need, right? All right, so first things first, we're gonna cut the board, all right? I'm gonna do this in two foot segments, all right? So here we go. And all right now, now that we got all that accomplished, why don't we go ahead and just move on into the cutting portion, all right? Now what I wanna exemplify right here is that I have been off of work since approximately 3 p.m. and I've had not one sip of alcohol. Okay, safety first around here, boys. All right. So when you're cutting these, you just really want to be careful that uh, you know you hit right on the line. You don't want to go over or under too much because what we want is a nice, nice level finished product at the end, right? All right, let's get these bad boys on. All right, I'm gonna start with this board right here. Well, hey now, that was just all types of fun, wasn't it? Now that's accomplished, let's go ahead and get on to the more important mission of the day. Shine, light blonde. Damn, that's good. Ooh. Oh my goodness, that's a cold beer out there. Okay, well hey y'all, everyone makes mistakes, right? Uh, what I forgot to mention at the very first video is that you're gonna need some type of supportive backbone for this, uh, I would say, masterpiece, okay? So what I did here is I grabbed a little piece of scrap wood that I have, and it's about um, too long for what I need, so I'm gonna cut it into uh, one foot Mm, let's say 10 inch uh, incrementals right here, okay? And that's just so that I make sure I have plenty of room to attach every board to the backs of it, all right? I'm gonna cut two to three pieces. Here, let's do it. As you can see here, we got all the wood requirements that we're going to need for this here video. Seven pieces of 24 inch by 4 inch pieces of board, the cheap stuff at Lowe's, and then two pieces of, I don't remember, maybe one foot by 10. Um, yeah, one foot by 10. That uh, is just scrap wood um, and it can be however wide you want, okay? This is going to be our back support. And from here, we're gonna move on to the actual creation. All right, well shoot y'all. What I went ahead and done here was take a couple of clamps. They ain't gotta be fancy, you know? And I, I put this back brace up. I line these boards up just how I want them. And I'm gonna put in a screw. Um, heck, I don't really know what size they are. Um, I found them uh, just lying around. And we're just gonna put one screw in each board on this side. And then we're gonna put another screw right here with this board on this side, okay? And then, uh, yeah, we'll come back right after that. God damn, I love that. Oh. Well, y'all, you know what I say, when you get frustrated, take the edge off, man. That was pretty daggum easy, if you ask me. So, now what we're going to go ahead and do here, we're going to take these clamps off, right? Okay. Set that one there. Boom. Now let's take a look at what we've got going. Oh, man. I'll tell you what, you cannot get a better board at Lowe's, Amazon, Hobby Lobby, none of that. This is gonna be quality and hey, strong. 
I went ahead and drew a little Texas on here. That's my that's my state. That's where I come from, and that's what I love. All right. So for you, whoever you are out there, make sure you just diddle do a little bit of something for you. Okay. Uh, right here, I have some some rope. Uh, my wife got it for me. Not quite sure where it's from. It looks like it's good rope. Um, I cut it a little bit because the end had some junk on it. And so make sure you sear this end very well. Yeah, just like that. Because we don't want it to come apart. Oh my God. Yeah. That's good. All right, and then we're going to uh, wrap this bad boy around there. Cool. Now that's done. Uh, I got my hot glue gun. My, well, realistically, it's my wife's, okay. Hot glue gun. Warm it up. Um, got the rope ready. Got the outline um, in preparation. Hey, man. Drink another one of these bad boys, huh? Oh. Shoot. <laughs> Man, you don't want to lose any of these, you know what I'm saying? Damn, I almost got it. Okay, well hey y'all, let's go ahead and give this a go. Um, what you're gonna do here is just run a little bit of this uh, hot glue. Boom, 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 boom. Just like that. All the way across the area that you want it right. You gotta be quick with this little, this little booger. There we go. Let's see what happens here. Oh yeah, that's gonna work out real good. All right, when you make a turn like that, you're gonna wanna hold it for a minute, okay? Um, let the glue set for, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 seconds is all. Um, and I mean, hey, if you want to, while that's while that's setting, you can finish off your beer or whatever. Mm. Dang, man. La, la, la. If I didn't say so myself, I'm pretty much an artist. But seriously, y'all, I just freehanded this. I wouldn't worry too much about the drawing itself. What I would worry about is just how you feel about it. Because, daggum, I feel pretty damn good. Man, I think we got just enough. Cosmos is my hometown. Good old Shiner, Texas, right here, right? Man, I'd say that this is at least a 10 out of 10 on the badass scale. And I'm going to hang this up in the living room, no matter what the watch says. Hey, now. So, hey, boys, I just want you to remember that I need you to like, subscribe, share my video, whatever the heck you think you need to do with this. Review it. I don't know. But one last thing. My name is Jake, and this is Hunt. Beer and repeat.